so sorry about the cell phone video, um, but someone said that the fans weren't working on their Sidewinder X1, and you can see here mine is spinning. So I thought we had the firmware configuration done correctly, except I have not defined an auto fan pin, which they do have the fans connected to the second hot end output here. And as you can see, this MOSFET is, is on. So I did not realize that this entire time my X1 machine had a failed MOSFET that was stuck in the on position as you can see here because if I power cycle it so I'm going to turn it off and if the firmware had control over that you'd see it take a sec to turn on but as soon as I turn the power on you can see it kicks on so that's why the firmware was not set up to kick your fan on on the hot end so I will release a patch later today to fix this and again I didn't catch this because I uh, did not realize that my board here had this fault on it the entire time. So this is a MOSFET that's in the on position. So I do have another board here. So I'm going to swap this board out and test. Yep, that one's stuck on. So that's why <laughs> my fans came on automatically uh, because that MOSFET is stuck in the on position. So I apologize that I didn't catch that. And uh, we'll get the firmware updated because this uh, this fan is supposed to turn off with the firmware. And it's supposed to turn on when the hot end gets heated and shut off when it's cooled. So, but since my MOSFET is stuck on because this board has a problem, I did not catch that when I was setting up the firmware. So, I'll get that all patched today.